Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Pilate finally realized he was making no impression and that a riot was breaking out instead. He called for water, and he washed his hands in front of the crowd, declaring, as he did so, I am innocent of the blood of this just man. The responsibility is yours. Pilate was a very busy man. He had many responsibilities as a governor. During the, and during the Jewish festivals, there were always those who would cause trouble and make more work and worry for him. Obviously, he could not waste much more time on a petty grievance against a peasant car carpenter. He had to dispose of him and get on with things. Jesus, we too are busy about many things in our daily lives. We pray for the grace never to let the things that need to be done become more important than people who need to be loved or else we may miss you when you stand before us in need. The second station, Jesus carries the cross. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, They stripped him of all his clothes and wrapped him in a scarlet military cloak. Leaving a crown out of thorns, they fixed it to his head. They stuck a reed in his right hand. They began to mock him by dropping to their knees before Jesus, saying, All hail, King of the Jews. They also spat at him. Afterwards, they took hold of the reed and began striking him. Finally, when they had finished making a fool of him, they stripped Jesus of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, handed him the cross, and led Jesus away to be crucified. So it has all come to this. The people find it too hard to deal with the Savior who is all loving, always pouring out his life in service to others. This threatens them. It forces them to see how unloving they themselves are. So Jesus must be eliminated. It hurts them deeply, but he loves them, even in that. Jesus, we often reject you and fail to live up to the demands of love. We also find our own efforts to love being rejected by other people. And it hurts us as it hurt you. Give us the grace to take up the cross with you, Lord, and go on loving. The third station. Jesus falls. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Those who love their life lose it, while those who hate their life in this world Preserve it to life eternal. If it any would serve me, let them follow me. These will the Father honor. My soul is very troubled now, yet 
what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this that I came to this hour. Not even Jesus can bear the tremendous weight of sin without a great deal of pain and struggle. He was driven to the ground and must have wondered himself if he could really do what he had to do. Jesus, we find our sinfulness too much to bear. We hate it. We want to get rid of it. Yet it is always with us, even driving us to the ground. Save us from the pride of trying to carry our crosses strictly on our own. In you alone, we find the strength to live fully. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mom. Jesus, remember me. in whatever we are doing. Give us the grace to see when you are calling us to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill your law of love. The sixth station, a woman wipes the face of Jesus. Jesus, remember me. Him. 
your appearance that would attract us to him. He was spurned and employed by people, a man of suffering, one of those from whom people hid their faces, and we held him in no esteem. This seems a bit foolish. What did this woman hope to accomplish anyway? Here was Jesus, dying, and she offers him a simple towel to wipe his face. But it was all she had, and so she gave it. And she gave herself completely. Jesus, so often we look only for the big things, the heroic things that we can do for our brothers and sisters. Help us to be aware of the little things, the day-to-day -day things that we can do to communicate your image of love to others. The seventh station, Jesus falls again. Jesus, remember me when you come into your Jesus, why do things have to fall apart just at the time they seem to be coming together? We work hard to conquer a particular failure. And just when we think it is overcome, we fall again. May we never forget our constant need of your grace. The eighth station, Jesus comforts the woman. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. A great crowd of people follow him including women who beat their chest and lamented over him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. These words of Jesus don't seem comforting at all, but very sharp. Jesus was trying to say to them that even tears can be a way of hiding his responsibility. As for this, we need to be confronted by the reality of the situation. Jesus loved them enough to speak the truth. Lord Jesus, what you said was not, perhaps, what the women wanted to hear. But it certainly was what they needed to hear. Your words of love to us in our lives are not always easy. But help us to be open to that word so that we may follow you and live, and give us the grace, as you did, to always speak the truth in love. The ninth station, Jesus falls for a third time. Jesus, remember me when you come in.
going to make it up that hill. He has been beaten all night, whipped and prodded from the streets of the city. Now he lies exa exhausted on the ground. Yet, somehow, he will get to the top of Calvary. Jesus, there are times in our lives when the situation seems absolutely hopeless. There's no way to turn. And all that is ahead is darkness. These times are terrifying, Lord. Give us the grace to hope. Your love will get us to Calvary and to the resurrection. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. Jesus, remember me when you come in. Even though broken and exhausted, Jesus proves to be aggravated to the soldiers. He did not cower in their callousness. They realize they can't manipulate him. And so they take out their purses <coughs> and stripping of his, him of his clothes and gamble with him. Lord Jesus, you are not ashamed to stand naked before the crowds. For you have stood before them in absolute openness and honesty all your life. Such openness frightens us, Lord. We have so many little ways of hiding our true feelings, of keeping up phony fronts and false appearances. Strip us of these things, Lord, that we may be free to mount the cross with you. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. It was about nine. proclaiming his offense, read, the king of the Jews. No one can be so inhumane as to nail someone to a tree. And that is something done to animal hide, not to a person. Yet it was done, and no one seemed to raise a cry. Jesus, we are shocked at the amount of human cruelty people daily inflict on one another. We are terrified of the evil which lurks in our very own hearts. May we never ignore and deny this evil, but work actively against it in whatever way we can. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, 
replied, and I assure you, this day you will be with me in paradise. It was around midday, and darkness came over the whole land until mid-afternoon with an eclipse of the sun. The curtain in the sanctuary was torn in two. Jesus uttered a loud cry and said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. After he said this, he expired. The centurion, upon seeing what happened, gave glory to God, saying, Surely this was an innocent man. This is the greatest, yet most horrible event in all of history. In this one death, all death is forever destroyed. In this absolute failure is found ultimate victory. In this depth of despair is found the source of all hope. Lord Jesus, there is no way we can understand your death without participating in it. But we are afraid. We don't know what it will mean for our lives if we really do die with you. Give us the grace and peace to say yes to the cross. And by that yes, to find true freedom and life. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. There was a man named Joseph, an upright and holy member of the Sanhedrin, who had not been associated with their plan or their action. He was from Arimathea, a Jewish town, and he looked expectantly for the reign of God. The man approached Pilate with a request for Jesus' body. He took it down. They wrapped Jesus enter into Mary's desolation at this moment. The promise of the angel was that she would give birth to a king who would rule forever. What had gone wrong? How could this could have happened? Could she have been cruelly deceived? All of these thoughts must have gone through her heart. Yet she remained faithful. Lord, may we remember Mary in the times when we are tempted to give up in our journey of faith. Those times of emptiness when Jesus seems to be lifeless in our arms. May we remember her pain and her faithfulness. We pray that we, like her, may go on and discover the true power of hope. The 14th station, Jesus is buried. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. A grave was assigned to him among the wicked in a burial Though he had done no wrong, or spoken any falsehood, if he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Most people must have stood at the tomb in shocked silence, but for some, undoubtedly, it was a time of relief when the stone was finally rolled to grace. For now they knew that Jesus would no longer be confronting them in their daily lives. 
Jesus, so often our face becomes a face of the tomb. We feel we know you well enough. We have figured you out. We know what you want. We know what we have to do. Lord, neither the tomb nor our own conceptions are big enough to hold you. Help us ever to await the resurrection and ever to grow in following your way. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching out our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge of love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. Amen.